This is Foley, my newly maxed account, and after maxing, I have the desire to obtain some of the rarest items in the game, and I'm going to do it one boss at a time. Once I pick a boss, I'm stuck there until I receive one of the rarest items from that boss. For example, killing the King Black Dragon until I receive either the pet at a rate of 1 in 3,000 kills, or the Draconic Visage at a rate of 1 in 5,000 kills. Follow me on this journey as I take steps into some of the longest, or luckiest, grinds yet. Welcome to Spooned or Doomed. Hello, welcome back to Spooned or Doomed. In the last episode, I camped Leviathan for 43 days and ended up getting this funny little creature. Look at him. And if you notice, I'm wearing uh, all of the things that I've gotten from previous Spooned or Doomed episodes. Uh, the Tanzanite mutagen and the Leviathan pet. And I'm going to try to uh, wear... Everything that I get from these Spoonder Doomed episodes as best as I can, but since a lot of them are going to end up being pets, like it will be in today's video, um, then I won't be able to wear them. But if it is something that I can wear that is not a helmet or anything, then I can start adding to the outfit and we can have our own like Spooned or Doomed outfit. I think that would be pretty cool. But anyways, in today's video, we are going to be taking on the Phantom Muspa. And I haven't been here in about a year, but I did get really spooned on it. 152 kills, and I already got enough shards to make a uh, Venator bow. But uh, yeah, in today's video, we're going to be going for exclusively the Phantom Muspa pet, the Muffin. And it might take a while. So, um, as we learned in the previous episode, I'm going to stay there until I get the damn thing. But there is one thing that I am missing before I can start that. And that is the teleport that Duke Seculus has. This thing, the frozen tablet, is going to take us, like, pretty much right to the door of the Phantom Muspa. So, I'm going to go to Duke for, like, 20 or 30 kills, however long it takes me to get this frozen tablet. And then I'm going to head over to Muspa. And you might say, hey, Foley, you're killing Duke. So, doesn't that mean that you have to stay there until you get the pet? And the answer is no. The way I'm going to do this series is if there is something like a quality of life thing like these frozen the frozen tablet in this instant if there's a quality of life thing that is locked behind a boss then i will allow myself uh to do that boss until i get that quality of life change if i'm going to be at the phantom muspa for potentially thousands and thousands of kills then i'm going to need to set myself up in the best case scenario to get the most kills uh that i possibly can per hour so that is why i'm not going to be staying at the duke but we will eventually come back here someday and like you can see right here i only have one kill and that is just from the quest so i actually have no idea what i'm doing i think i barely muzzled my way through that fight but yeah i just need to go to the grand exchange and get some items for this boss and then just get to killing but the first thing i have to do is uh we gotta put this little this little baby over here with all of his friends there you go leviathan run around meet all your new friends all right i have 237 million cash from the previous video and it looks like it is going to be a melee fight and i will need actually wow um i, I guess the thing nerf really really took it out of this boss because that's what i used last time but i guess uh Zombie Axe is the way to go for me right now. Uh, cheap and effective. Uh, we need Bandos. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the Bandos chest plate. Let's get ourselves the Bandos tacits. And it looks like we also need the... Ooh, do we get the Bandos God Sword or the Void Waker? We're going to go with the Bandos God Sword. A lot of Bandos items right now. All right, Bandos God Sword and also a pair of Primordial Boots. Um, so that should be a good setup for us for now. And actually, a uh, best in slot here is the Serpentine Helm. So I actually get to use my Tanzanite for the first time. Let's go. All right, I think I got my inventory set up. So I got the Bandos on Blood Fury Fire Cape. Zombie Axe, a Vernic Defender, the Ferocious Gloves, Library Prims, and of course a Blessing and the Tanzanite Helm. We got the BGS for a Spec Weapon, the Divine Super Combat, a Ceridome and Brew, probably for emergencies, some Super Restores, Manta Rays, Staminas, Pickaxe, and Thralls, as well as a Home TP. So, uh, 
yeah, I'll meet you guys at the boss and hopefully I uh, do not die too much. All right, I just watched a uh, quick little video and uh, hopefully I got this down. So uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see off this first attempt. I did export some tiles that apparently did not go through. Um, import, oh, okay. There we go. Okay, we got the tile. So first we're going to drop off four food. We're going to grab this pestle and mortar. And uh, these uh, tiles highlighted here, these are safe tiles. Besides these black things, you still got to wash out for them. Then you're just going to, you're going to pick, um, I guess, what is it, two? Yeah, I think it's two of these. And then you're going to use your pestle and mortar on them. And then you're just going to go to the other side. And you're going to do the exact same thing. And now we're going to get some salt deposit. I believe we just need uh, 12. So that is good. And then we should be able to put this all into the vent. And then we can collect these uh, little poisons or whatever. And uh, then we can get the fight started. I'm going to pop a divine. I'm going to turn on piety and all that junk. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we got to use it on him one and two and we should be good to go get the bgs and then we put this on ow yeah and he's on a five tick cycle for a while and uh yeah you just gotta pretty much not be in that little smoking container whenever he does this thing and then he's gonna have the eyeball you're just gonna want to hide behind this pillar and ouch okay okay well oh okay you should probably turn off auto auto retaliate that would probably be a good idea then he can throw out these and you're just going to want to uh, make sure you run away from the fog. Run away from the fog. At some point he's going to turn into a 4 tick attack which I think starts now. Uh, it, it starts when he's at a low HP amount so I would assume it's now. So you just got to be careful of that uh, attack uh, speed change and then you should be good. And there is the first kill down, well I guess the second and we get... Uh, some maroon javelin heads very nice and that actually took up a lot of my food so i guess it's just a one oh wait no we still got the man these manta rays back here so we should be fine let's go for a another kill and obviously we will get better at this but uh we're not here for too long so uh the tablet should come anytime now Okay, well, uh, that didn't work out that well, um, <laughs> but uh, I guess we got one kill down, so that is all right. We will improve and get better. All right, the second kill down. Um, yeah, if you bring a four tick weapon like the arc light, the arc light works pretty good here. Um, at the end of the fight, when he changes attack speed, you can still keep up with like the whole rhythm and everything. So uh, yeah, bring in the arc light uh, for the end or any other four tick weapon. I think the arc light is probably best in slot though. I I can imagine. There we go, a two kill trip. Let's go. Hey, we got a supply drop, which is a uh, pretty cool. I like it. I like. It. Yeah, I'm not confident that I'm going to make this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and TP out while I'm ahead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, three kill trip, not too bad. Ooh, we got a Awakener's Orb, and uh, we have not received any other unique shit. So uh, yeah, that is kill count number ten, and we got Awakener's Orb. Hell yeah, brother! Another, we gotten two orbs before we got the tablet. Okay, would you look at that? Uh, we're at 34kc, so I believe we're actually dry on the uh, on the frozen tablet, but overall not a big deal. I'm actually not having a bad time with this fight either. It's not too bad. It'd be even better if I had some uh, better weapons and armor, but it is what it is. Oh, there we go. The frozen tablet at kill count 41. You love to fucking see it. Now we are done with the Duke for now. Maybe I should get out of the area of event uh, before I get killed by it. But yeah, we are done with Duke for now. It's actually not a bad boss. I, I actually might come here um, sooner than later at some point. It's not a bad fight. All right, we can just take this ring of shadows and use the frozen tablet on it. And I should be able to teleport right to the Garrock dungeon which uh yeah it takes me pretty much just a couple steps away from phantom muspa which is going to be really nice but i'm going to go ahead and gear up and set the bank tab for muspa and then we can get on our way to the long journey that is ahead now the pet drop rate for the phantom muspa is a 1 in 2500 and i only have like 150 kills right now so uh yeah we're going to be here for quite a while unless i get big spooned
All right, here is the setup. We got the maxed out range setup minus the uh, quiver, and we're using a light bearer. Then we got the ZCB switch for the smite phase, uh, divine raging pot, some stamina potions, prayer pots, food, and of course our thralls teleport in and out. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. It's been like a year since I've uh, killed the Muspa, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't die too much. Hey, we survived and we took minimal damage and we get five Snapdragon Seeds for the first kill. You'll love to see it. Bunch of Ace... I'm, I'm actually excited to see how much Ancient Essence I'm going to have at the end of this grind. I'm going to hold on to every single bit of it. But if I'm able to pick up everything, then I can just exit the cave and then enter right back in and we can skip the, uh, the cooldown for the Muspa, I believe. Yup, there we go. So if you're looking to get a couple more KC an hour, then uh, that is definitely the way to go. Oh, we got the speed chaser. Is that the... Oh, it's just the master task. Okay, a 158. Not too bad. I, I really don't understand why that didn't protect me from the blast, but okay. Um, all right, I'm, I'm not even mad about it. I'm just confused. Oh, dragon fruit tree seed. Oh my god, 500k for those? Give me those. I'm pretty sure those are actually uh, kind of rare to get, so uh, we will take those. Versatile drainer. Okay, that is uh, three different methods of draining the prayer. So I used, uh, of course, the smite flick, the sapphire dragon bolts proc, and also the greater corruption spell. So uh, yeah, you can either use that or I think... I think there's a melee weapon you can use, but I, I CBA bringing that. So we are RNG in it with that. I look away for one second and he does the fucking magic attack. Oh my God. All right. So I just watched a video on this step back method. Apparently it's going to be a zero damage uh, melee phase if I do it right. I'm still bringing stamina's in for now, just in case I mess up, but um, if I get this method down, then I won't have to bring any staminas, and that's just two more inventory spaces for either food or pear pots, whatever I feel like. So, uh, yeah, good luck, and hopefully I'll learn this, uh, pretty soon. Okay, well, that, I obviously did not do that right, but, uh, we are learning. Okay, we're uh, we're just gonna do a one kill trip because I ate up all my pretty much all my fucking food for uh, trying to learn this method. But uh, we will uh, we will try it again. All right, take number two. Good luck. All right, uh, definitely did better that time, but definitely did not get it down fully. But I uh, I think I'm learning. I definitely think I'm learning. Oh look, boys, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I am doing it. I'm a fucking pro. Oh, and then I mess up. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, we're back. We're back in it. We're back in it. That should be the no walking uh, combat achievement. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. We like to see that. I figured I could do it since I kind of got down the uh, method again, but I did take a little bit of damage at the end, but uh, we are we are doing good. Now, I am not perfect at this method, and uh, I'm still making a couple of mistakes, but I, I've got it down pretty good. Once I feel like I'm, like, perfect at it, I will, like, kind of give a rundown of how it works, but, uh, I don't feel comfortable explaining it now. Yeah. Wait, you're at the mining guild, Jer? I want you to accept yeah. these. Oh, yeah, I'm at the mining guild. Not at the mining not guild. In, she's at the mining guild. I'm just folding the laundry. I've been demoted to laundry folding. Where you belong. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no lying that. Oh, you gotta. Yeah, how about you there. fold that laundry while she gets you another Coliseum, Casey? Okay. That's crazy. For real. Um, oh damn. Hey, hey, Lily, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Link. 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 I may or may oh, not have brought a pickaxe, so I, okay. I'm. Oh my! I oh, might, on, may or may not need your. 
Oh, well, well, give, give some money. He given it to me for uh, what the two GP under price or something like that. No, I told oh, you I'll show him to you. I was selling him at five hundred for you. Okay, he's not so okay. Good, get him out of here. Five hundred each, dude. I I earned these fair and square. Very hard work came into these. How much do I owe you for, like? I don't know. Uh, let me do the math real quick. Two hundred ninety-five k. What? Twelve point one mil. Yo 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 yo! yo. <laughs> He's trying to connect you. For, for that, that's five hundred. That, yeah, five hundred each. That's what it is. No, I'm just that's kidding. Crazy. <laughs> Damn, okay, uh, a brother can try it. No, I'll do it. Uh, just do 2.1 mil. You said 2.1 mil. Just take two 100k. Two 100k. Two 100 mil. Oh, you can do, you can type K. 2100k. Two 100k. No, we put an M. Two okay, 100 so, M. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, no. Is... Two. <laughs> yeah, now I'm enough. getting that's scammed. Enough. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, hey yo! No! <laughs> Do not accept that. Do not accept that. Do not accept that. Okay, yeah, let me Here's like, let give me, me the it. goddamn keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo! Wait, why did you want to accept? Wait, who wouldn't though? Who wouldn't do that? That's the real question. Yeah. Yeah, who wouldn't? <laughs> wait, who the fuck did that? Hold up. Yo, I'm- wait, 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 wait. Give me the pickaxe. Give me the pickaxe. Hey, pick this- pickaxe this shit. Pickaxe. Pickaxe. No, what no, no. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Give me that fucking emerald, bitch. Oh, no. God damn. My emerald. <laughs> okay. Woo! Yeah, that was kind of sketchy. I've just been uh, zooming through these kills, but uh, yeah, there's our first like 100 kill milestone, uh, 207 kills so far at the Phantom Muspa, and uh, yeah, we're kind of, we're going for the uh, Phantom Muspa manipulator, but I keep messing up, so um, I'm hoping eventually I'll get it, but uh, I guess we'll just have to see. All right, and this is the Muspa manipulator kill that I got. And I'm just gonna explain the step back method real quick. All you have to do is wait for the hit splat on you to disappear, and that is when you step back. So as you can see, every time it disappears, I just step back and you don't take any damage. But you do have to be praying melee. If you're not, then you will still take damage. But that is the simplest way that I can explain the step back method. And it is what I have used the whole time to do it, and I've pretty much perfected it. And the second part of the Muspa manipulator task, besides just walking, is uh, not taking any avoidable damage. So for the spike special attack, I got lucky enough to have it spawn whenever Muspa was in range phase and all I did was not attack Muspa and just walk away from the spikes the reason being is that if if Muspa is in melee phase and the spikes are up it's really hard to avoid the spikes while avoiding Muspa because the spikes will catch up to you if all you can do is walk <laughs> The teleporting phase is about to come up, so we're just going to go to that red tile right there. That is the safe spot. We're going to stand there and attack Muspa. And now we're on smite phase. We just got to make sure that um, we smite at the right time and don't get hit by an unprotected range prayer. And the last part of the Muspa manipulator is to get all the spikes to surround a Muspa before you kill it. So what I did is just kept Muspa at low HP and I waited until he would spawn more spikes around him until he had spikes surrounded all around him and then I just finished him off. If you follow these steps, it's actually a pretty easy task. It just takes a little bit of um, RNG to get the spikes to spawn while Muspa is in a range phase. But other than that, it's a pretty easy kill if you got the step back method down.
All right, I believe I did not fuck up. That should be the Phantom Muspa Manipulator. There we go. So that is uh, killing the Phantom Muspa while not taking any damage, while also not walking, while also killing it while it has spikes surrounded all of uh, all of uh, Phantom Muspa. So that actually took me quite a while to uh, do, but I'm glad I finally got it out of the way and I don't have to deal with that anymore. I think the only thing I really need now is the uh, the speed time but um yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna go for that didn't realize there was a extra combat task okay i knew about the 10 kill trip um i can i can probably get that if i bring in like some cerebrus and stuff um or just get a really lucky supply run um doing damage to it with the salamander i'm not sure if i want to do that but i'll probably muster up the strength to do it and then we have the speed runner which is a minute 30 without a slayer task but other than that i have most of the combat achievements that i want uh from phantom muspa done but yeah i'm gonna work on this uh 10 times in a trip Ooh, venator shard number two of the grind hell yeah brother we are definitely spooned on van ander shards uh seven and 251 kills is kind of fucking crazy the one thing that i find actually pretty refreshing in this grind compared to leviathan is that with leviathan i was like always trying to get the perfect kill to get the maximum loot potential but with uh this boss you know you get the exact same loot potential every time so it's kind of nice and i don't have to worry about messing up or anything and um well i do have to worry about messing up you know because i could die but like in terms of loot potential i don't have to worry about messing up and everything so that is a kind of a nice change of pace on things it gives it a bit of a more relaxed uh sort of vibe and to be honest once you get most down it's actually pretty chill like the step back method is uh, i'm getting pretty comfortable with it now um and so it's actually making it a lot chiller i don't have to run around everywhere like a headless chicken another venator shard oh my god kill the count 278 that's a uh, what 27 kills apart oh my dude i am so spooned on these shards it is actually fucking ridiculous also i am i am so sorry to all the ironmen that are going dry on their venator bow because i am definitely not going dry on it holy shit yeah 8 and 278 that is just absolutely crazy all right, I guess it's time to try the salamander only task, but we get to use the new Teku salamander, um, which uh, I'm kind of excited to uh, to use it. I'm not sure how much they actually are selling for, but it seems like they're kind of expensive. I'm just going to put in one mil, see if it sells. Oh, there we go. It bought for 950k. Wow, they're actually kind of uh, kind of expensive. All right, I got myself the little Teku Salamander. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, and I brought a couple of Cerado members because I don't know how, how much I'm going to fuck up. I accidentally brought my Amethyst Arrows. It should be fine. We'll go ahead and give it a go. Well, uh, first try. So that was actually not too bad with the uh, Teku Salamander. So I uh, would highly recommend. I did mess up a lot with the step back method and I still had plenty of supplies, as, as you can see, too. Two full brews, and uh, yeah, we got a frozen cache from it too, so that is uh, pretty dope. I'm gonna save up all these frozen caches for the end of the video. I kind of want to see how many uh, runes or, well, actually, you don't just get runes from it. You get a, I guess you get one extra roll to the drop table. Um, so we'll wait for the end of the video to uh, to open up all those. Oh, would you look at that? Didn't even notice, but we are now past 300 kill count at the Phantom Muspa. And there is the Essence Farmer. 10 kills in one trip. You just kind of got to be careful. You got to get the step back method uh, down pretty well. As um, Well, at least for me, I kind of depended on getting a lot of uh, supply drops too for the prayer potions. Because I only brought 5 in. But uh, definitely got spooned on the supply drops for this combat achievement. Oh my god. I mean, I could have kept going. I really could have kept going, but my inventory is full. Holy shit. That is uh that was a lot of kills. At least 15, I would have to say. Yeah, uh just in the items, one mil trip right there, and then we have two spirit seeds, a frozen cache. Um, uh, and these spirit seeds you can turn into uh someone at the farming guild and you can get some seed packs. So uh yeah, uh a pretty damn good trip. I've actually uh, never been able to fill up my inventory until now uh during while killing muspa 
Ooh, Venator Shard. Let's fucking go. <laughs> we still spooned out here, boys. We're still spooned. <laughs> He's pissed. He's pissed. <laughs> uh. Man, they say you go dry at one place to get lucky at another, and they could not be any more fucking right. I mean, Muspa is just shitting out gold for me right now. I'm loving it. Oh, we got the speedrunner. I didn't even realize I got it. Oh my god, let's fucking go. I, I wasn't even go for it, but that was just like crazy RNG. Oh my god. That is actually, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna TP out of here real quick, but that is all of the phantom muspa combat tasks complete yep we are 13 out of 13 we have them all done we can just chill for the rest of the grind don't have to worry about anything just get all the kills and get that fucking pet let's go another venator shard oh my god i am i am so fucking spooned on venator shards it is fucking ridiculous i what in the fuck is this look 10 and 361 kills fucking stupid all right i mean it has been like only 200 kills in this video or so and i've already gotten enough shards to make a venator bow so i'm just gonna i've never done this before so i want to do it myself and bam we have made a venator bow which a look at that and they are going for 61 almost 62 mil right now so that is some pretty good money on top of all the uh, regular drops we've gotten too. All right, we are at 400 kill count now. We are still going strong. I've actually gotten the step back method done uh, used to pretty well now. It's uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad once you get the hang of it. Oh my god, dude! I am so fucking spooned. <laughs> what is the no shot? Oh my god. Bruh. And there is 500 kills. I've actually decided that I don't want to uh, stack up these clue caskets. I'm just going to open them as I get them uh, for this video. That may change, but I just want to experiment and see if stacking them is better for me or just open them as I get them is better for me. But I, I do got a couple stacked up right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and open them. Start off with the beginners. Nothing from the beginners. Now to the easies. Ooh, a black kite shield G. A black plate body H4. All right, and now to the mediums. We got four of them. No unique. Okay, six hard caskets. Oh, a black cavalier. A Zamorak plate skirt. Okay. All right, and now to the elite casket. We get a master clue, okay, and nothing else. All right, I got a beginner, easy, medium, hard, and elite clue. Let's see what we get. A Bob's red shirt, okay. A blue boater. And nothing else from the hard and the elite clue, but that is okay. All right, we got a hard and elite clue. A red dehyde body G. All right. And no collection log on the elite clue. Oh, another Venator shard. Let's fucking go. 600 kill count. One of each type of casket. Let's go. And we get absolutely nothing. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's getting killed by Vard's fucking <laughs> bleeding attack. Oh man, he fucking died. <laughs> oh my god. Should have teleported to the POH. It would have been a safe death. Oh, another Venator shard. You love to see it. On kill count 699. All right, next kill, we got 700 kill counts. That is a double cannonball drop. I have never seen that. Oh my God, you love that. I love that. Oh my God. Another one of each casket. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a mithril full helm G. Okay. 
Into the Guthix plate skirt? Okay. Anything from the Elite, though? Nah, nothing. Of course. Oh, that is the 10th Venator shard. And <laughs> Dude, I, I've made two Venator bows and 739 kills. I really don't know what to say about that. All right, might as well make this uh, Venator bow number two. There we go. We have two Venator bows. And how much are they actually worth right now? 132 mil for both of them. 66.2 mil on the guide price. Uh, that is uh, pretty nice. Well, my internet just went out, so I am on the hotspot, and the uh, the ping is uh, not doing me too well. I mean, it says 78, but it's really, uh, it's not great in a place like Muspa, where if you lag for a second, you could get whomped really hard and die. So, uh, uh, I haven't been back to these lesser demons in a while. I'm still trying to get the last and final champion scroll i'm at 1250kc so uh still a bit of ways to go for the rate but uh yeah i'm just gonna spend a few hours here until my internet gets back on hopefully uh before i go to bed and then i can get some more muspa kills in uh, i guess i'll show, show you the log uh just in case you haven't seen it but yeah we've gotten all the champion scrolls besides the lesser demon so all right these uh venator bows are like at almost an all-time high so i'm just gonna go ahead and sell them they're uh Sell them for like 67, 68 mil. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell them both. Looks like one of them sold for 67 million. And I'm just going to leave that in there and let the other one go ahead and sell out. And then uh, I'll collect them both when they both sell. All right, both of them have sold. And that gives us a cash stack of 133 million GP. And if we just put that into the bank, we're now at 244. I also got a hard and an elite clue that same trip. So, uh, clue time. Oh, I accidentally opened up the hard casket on this island as soon as I got it. <laughs> but no unique, but we did a uh, no unique to me. But Ceridome Embracers, I guess I'll go ahead and open up this elite mastered clue too. And uh, yeah, no no uniques from any of them. But yeah, I'm gonna just do these master clues as I get them because I keep forgetting to fucking drop them. So yeah. And there is kill count number 800. We got some toad flax from that and some Reynard seeds. That's a that's a pretty decent drop. All right, we got four caskets. Oh come on, elite. Oh. We got the Fury Ornament Kit. Let's go. Not worth too much, but I will take any GP. All right, and there is kill 900. It's actually taken a while to get these 100 kills. i uh, been in the process of moving to the new place. And uh, on top of that, we had a tornado come in and knock out the power. So uh been very busy with a couple of unfortunate uh, circumstances popping up. But um, hopefully I should be able to play a little bit more now. That everything is settled a little more. There we go. That is the last scroll that I need. So um, I guess we just need to go to the Champions Guild and uh, fight all these uh, champions, and then we can claim our champion cape. Now, each uh, different champion fight is uh, going to require you to do something different. Like, one may require you to fight with only melee, or range, or mage, or um, what it be. Um, whenever you turn in these scrolls to do the fight, it will tell you exactly uh, what you have to do for the fight. So, uh, in order for me to just not have to run to the bank all the time, I just brought Elite Void and uh, a few switches uh that way i could just pretty much do this all in one trip but yeah i'm not going to go too much in detail with these champion scroll fights it's uh pretty self-explanatory if you get them you know like you can see here i just use it on the guy and it'll tell me exactly what i need to do like i can only use melee attacks so pretty simple don't mind my gear all the ground. I did not have anxiety the whole time during this fight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I really, uh, no, I was really anxious, Ashley. I, I could not get up there more faster than uh, to pick up all my shit. Had to drop a lot of my gear again for this last fight. But this is the champion uh, 
of all champions, I guess. And yeah, we are just going to kill him real quick with range. And uh, then we will receive the champion cape. There we go. The collection log has popped up. And uh, yeah, now we, we have one of the rarest capes in the game, I would say. But yeah, before we can, you know, look at it, of course, I got to pick up all my shit, though. But look at that beauty. I... I really like this cape. It looks good. The uh, the yellow trim on the bottom really uh, puts it all together. I want them to put out a max variant of this cape. I think it would look sick. Um, of course, no perks, just cosmetic only. But uh, yeah, that is a green log for the champions challenge. And uh, I need to find something new to AFK while I uh, don't have good internet or I'm on my phone or something. I was not recording, but I did open up a couple clues and I ended up getting the flared trousers alongside the iron plate skirt G. The flared trousers um, are actually quite um, useful. They are a clue set for an elite, I believe, um, but they are almost three mil. So that is a pretty good item to get. Venator shard, let's go. Uh, two in one day. I do not mind that at all. Oh my god. Oh, well, th there's um, there's 1,000 kills. <laughs> we missed it by a little bit, but there we go. Oh my god, that is a rare drop. A spirit seed, like three spirit seeds and one drop. I'm not sure the drop rate, but I know that is pretty rare. Venator shard we love to fucking see him oh my god oh there is 1100 kills now the venator shard oh yeah that is a uh, number 19 i believe yep number 19 that is uh 1200 kills now so uh we are creeping up on the uh halfway mark of the drop rate for the pet so uh Oh, it looks like I have a elite clue in my in my bank. I've uh, been kind of slacking on the clues uh, for the past couple days, but it's just because I haven't had much time. So any time that I am on the computer, I want to actually just be killing the boss instead of doing clues. But uh, once things settle down and I have more time, then I'll be uh, back onto the clue grind. Oh, Venator Shard. We love to see it. I feel like I say that every time I get a Venator Shard, but yeah, they are really nice to uh, just drop on the ground. And it's nice, like, with this boss, like, yeah, you know every time you get a drop, it's only going to be a certain item, but at least the item has some good value with it. Oh man, what a good trip. I do not even know how many kills I got, but it was it was a pretty good one. A 15 mil trip, and if you take out the Venator Shard, 1.8 mil um, trip. And we also got a Spirit Seed and two Ancient Icons, so... uh yeah, we like, we like to see that. And if you were keeping count, that is five more Venator shards. So I will be able to make the third Venator bow of this video. And uh, yeah, they're going for 66 mil. So we're just going to put that in there and cash out and put it right into the bank. Thank you very much. 291 mil cash tag. But yeah, since we got a nice smooth 20 shards now, um... Yeah, here is the log. Uh, nothing's changed besides this number going up a lot. And uh, yeah, we are actually eight kills off of being halfway to the drop rate of the pet. So uh, yeah, we'll keep chugging along. Oh, Venator Shard number 21. Let's fucking go. Oh, and there is 1300 kills. There we go. Oh, we got the muffin. Oh, oh, let's fucking go. 1302, right after the 1300 milestone, we get the fucking pet and we are like almost halfway spooned. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh my God. Look at that bad boy. And we can metamorphose it. Oh my. Oh wait, we have to, uh, we have to get the, uh, the charged ice for it. Oh my God. Let's get out of here. We are fucking done. Let's go. <laughs> Literally, we got a Venator Shard 7 kills before we got the pet. Oh my fucking god. Oh my 
god that is crazy but we can look at the collection log now and we can look at the green log phantom muspa 21 venator shards and 1302 kills along with the pet oh my god let me get that charged ice out and then we can uh we can get our muffin looking pretty cool all right let's use the charged ice on ya all right so we got the green one and then we could do the melee one as well or we could do the shielded one which i like the shielded one honestly it really just glows a lot more i like that yeah we're gonna keep it like that all right we got 38 frozen caches so i'm just gonna go ahead and open these are they gonna let me open it without any inventory space i don't know let's find out okay it will so let's just go ahead and open up all these we do have a one in 500 chance of getting another venator shard out of each of these so if we get a venator shard out of these i am completely fucking spooned all right nothing too special out of that we got 10 more though all right and no venator shard out of that but a couple of added supplies you like to see it um i can either chisel down these ancient icons for ancient essence but i think it's better to high alk them i'm not gonna high alk them right now and i still need to make a couple more of uh the uh whatchamacallits the uh the ancient scepters so i'm just gonna keep them for now yeah keep that stat going for a little bit but i guess the next thing i need to go do is sell off all these supplies we'll go over it first um we did make three venator bows during this grind um with one shard left over so 16 venator shards were dropped in the making of this video because i did have five before uh, I started this video. We have almost 900,000 Ancient Essence that we made. Um, other notable things, almost 400 Raynar Seeds, 200 Snapdragons, 1,265 Toad Flaxes, um, quite a bit of Alkables, and yeah, just really good seeds. If you're an Iron Man, oh my god, Muspa will treat you good, I will tell you that. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab all this stuff and sell it off, and we'll see what the bank is looking like. Oh my god, I'm, I'm keeping the cannonballs uh, because they're. I will be doing Slayer at some point. I'm not sure when. It could be sooner rather than later, I'm not too sure. But 104 mil from, from the loot, oh my god. And we still have like some stuff in here from clues that I could sell, but uh, I don't really feel like selling all that right now. It's, oh wait, we got a bunch of dragon bolts. I forgot about these dragon bolts. I thought I put them in the loot tab a while ago, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sell those. All right, so 108 mil from the regular loot at Muspa. Um, well, I guess with uh, 13 mil. So a little under 100 mil um, from regular loot um, because I do have like 13 mil and uh, a Venator shard in that cash stack. But that will put the cash stack up to 394 mil. But we have no use for the Zerite crossbow and the twisted buckler. Um at the moment so i'm gonna go ahead and sell these um back to the grand exchange and i bought these at 410 million gp in hopes that it would go up because that seemed like a down point but it looks like it dropped down even more in price which is kind of hurtful but uh you know it is what it is um you can't win all your bets but it definitely, um, I definitely made more money than I, uh, lost off of that. But that will get us 420 mil. Smoke weed every day. As well to put right in the cash stack, which will take us to 815 mil. Now, I think I talked about it in one of the videos after I maxed, where I just went over a couple of goals that I had for the future and, uh, that was to do the Inferno. And my goal is to do the Inferno, but I, I want the absolute best gear possible because uh, I feel like I need it. I guess you can make fun of me in the comments for going in there um, with nothing less than the best, but um, that's just how I am. It is what it is. I want every possible advantage going into the Inferno to give me the best possible chance of surviving. But um, unfortunately, I do not have enough money for it. Um, it looks like I have 815 mil. I mean, I could sell off a couple things, but I don't think 
it will uh, bring me to the 1.2 build that I need. Um, yes, I am buying an Ellie for it. I'm going to buy an um, Eldridge Staff, um, Virtus, a Justy Face Guard, and some Devout Boots. So, obviously, m most of the money is going into buying the Ellie and the Eldridge Orb. Um, so, it looks like I still need about 400 mil for that goal to be obtained. So, I guess I'll just have to find something else to do until I get that 400 mil. Oh, that's very interesting. I didn't even realize, but uh, we also hit over 100,000 soul runes from uh, that Muspa grind. I guess, oh yeah, we got the loot tab right here. So I guess you can look at the whole loot tab. It was 423 mil for the 1300 kills that we got. Yeah, that's crazy. I still can't believe I got 21 Venator shards. Like that is way spooned because it's a one in 100. So like, yeah, I definitely got a lot more shards than i was supposed to and we almost got a million ancient essence but yeah there's some pretty good stacks of seeds in here so again if you're an iron man um and you can kill this boss i would highly recommend it because it, yeah it just shits out Raynars and snapdragons for you and torstals but i think that is going to do it for the video if you enjoyed it uh please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see when i put out more content in the future I'm not sure what the next grind will be, but I'm sure you all will know soon enough. These videos do take a long time to make, but I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. And if you would like to join a clan, Amore Mio, my clan will always be open for anyone who wants to join. The link to the Discord will be in the description of the video. But I think that will be it for me. My name is Foley. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.